Hello friends, and not yet friends. Cha siu bao, aka Chinese barbecue pork buns, are a staple at dim sum restaurants. My family would order them every single time we went to Yum Cha. I've been working on this veganized version for quite some time and gosh darn it, I finally have it. These soft puffy buns are so fragrant, as they steam up you'll think you're at a Chinese restaurant. And the filling is super legit. Sweet, salty, and saucy. With dense seitan and juicy oyster mushrooms making a delicious and healthy replacement for the lean and fatty pork normally found in Sa Siu Bao. I'm so happy to share this childhood favorite with you, especially as my friend Lisa will be sharing a favorite on her channel too, The Viet Vegan. She's Viet and she's vegan and she's sharing a awesome lemongrass beef banh mi recipe that you're going to love. But before you head over there, let's get started on our vegan Chinese barbecue pork buns. As always, the full printable recipe is linked in the description box. With that out of the way, let's mix some seitan. That's wheat meat for anyone new here, and it's super easy. Combine all the seitan ingredients except the vital wheat gluten. If you wanted to save some effort, you could use this liquid mix, chop up some super firm pressed tofu, and marinate it instead of making your own seitan. But personally, I find the seitan closer to the original texture and taste, so this is where you choose your own adventure. Are you adventuring with me in making seitan? Then add vital wheat gluten. This is almost pure gluten, about 80% protein, and there's no substitute. It's gonna look kinda dry at first, like it might not have enough moisture. But keep kneading and it should be fine. It's gonna be pretty stiff. Then wrap it up really tight in parchment or foil. The tighter and more secure the wrap, the denser your seitan is gonna be. I want it to be quite dense to stand in for lean meat. Then steam it for 45 minutes over high heat to cook it through. Then let it cool a bit. I like to cut it in two so it will cool faster and then stick it in the fridge. Now is a good time to start our dough. It's basically the same as how we did our five spice jackfruit bao recipe. As usual, I weigh the ingredients for maximum accuracy. Then process. I'm using my food processor with a dough attachment to make things easy on my hands. You can also do this in a stand mixer with dough attachment or even do this manually. If you do this by hand, knead it for 5 to 10 minutes, flouring lightly as necessary. Then set the dough in a warm draft-free location and let it rise for an hour or until it's doubled in size. While that's going on, you can prep your sauce ingredients and dice up your red onion, seitan once it's cool enough, and that king oyster mushroom. Once cooked, this mushroom will give us the perfect texture to replace the fatty bits of pork normally found in barbecue pork buns. If you can't get it though, regular oyster mushrooms will do. White and brown cremini mushrooms aren't the best as their flavor is stronger, but if you love those mushrooms, who am I to stand in your way? These are your vegan barbecue pork buns, and there are no rules. When you have everything together, heat up a bit of oil in a large pan over medium-high heat. When it's nice and hot, add the ginger. Cook for a minute or until it gets a bit brown on the bottom. Then you can add your onion. After a bit, add the mushrooms too. We'll cook them until they are soft. Already, this smells so delicious. Lower the heat and add the rest of the sauce ingredients. Then 
Once this gets all bubbly, we can add the flour slurry. This is just mushroom powder, water, and flour, and it will thicken the sauce. Lastly, add the chopped seitan. Now this tastes and smells like the original thing. But Chinese barbecue pork is red. And that's because of red food coloring. So while I normally avoid food coloring because I find it unnecessary, I figured let's go all the way with the dim sum experience and add some of this vegan friendly color. And now it really looks the part. Set that aside, maybe stick it in the fridge to cool, and let's get back to our dough, which should be doubled in size by now. Flour your clean work surface and get your dough on there. It's gonna be a sticky situation, so do flour your hands lightly. Your clean hands, of course. And if you have good, healthy, strong hands, Knead it for a few minutes. I do not, so I did it like three times before forming a kind of log so I can divide up the dough. Using my trusty kitchen scale so they come out the same weight. Do you have to? No, but it's nice. Then turn those dough pieces into nice round balls. Once you have your balls, roll them out into flat rounds. As you're rolling, you can make the edges a bit thinner than the middle, but I don't really bother. Cause when I'm about to fill these, I just go around pinching. If you're not a professional bun filler yet, join the club. I had to psych myself up for this part. Add the chilled vegan barbecue pork mix to the middle of a round and pinch across the middle. Then turning 90 degrees, pinch again. And to get those bits in between, sealing as best you can. This would be the orderly way to do things. Or you can just go around trying to pleat the best you can without getting goop all over your fingers. There's plenty of filling, so add as much as you can without tearing the dough and making a huge mess. Set those onto parchment muffin liners. If you don't have these, you can cut out parchment squares. Or use some lettuce leaves. They work nicely. Then you can cover these up and let them puff up. About 30 minutes. When they are almost puffed up, you can set up your steaming apparatus. I usually use a steamer with bamboo baskets which impart a wonderful aroma to the buns and your kitchen. But if you don't have those, you can try this method. Fill the bottom of a large pot with water and stick in some balled up aluminum foil. Then place your plate of puffed up buns on top. Make sure they have room to expand. Then turn the heat to high so the water starts boiling, and when steam starts to come out, lower the heat to medium, or medium-high, and let that steam for 10 minutes. Afterwards, take it off the heat, but keep the lid on for a couple of minutes. Then, voila! Beautiful steamed buns. I do love them out of bamboo baskets, though. It's not just the aroma, which is awesome, but the whole experience, the aesthetic. Give them a few minutes to cool down so you don't burn your fingers and pull apart that soft, fluffy bread. Eat these fresh and enjoy! They are so good. I was jumping up and down the first time I tasted the final recipe. I felt like a gosh darn genius. I felt transported back to Chinatown being a kid nomming on these buns. No, I'm not the first to make a really legit, delicious, vegan cha siu bao. Vegetarian Chinese restaurants have been doing it forever. But I swear, the combination of the seitan and oyster mushroom really get that texture so bang on. I really hope you give these a try and share this recipe or the buns with anyone who likes steamed Chinese barbecue pork buns. 
And that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell me what you want me to veganize next in the comments below. Then head on over to the Viet Vegan. I've put the link in the description box below and in the cards up top too. So go check out that banh mi recipe. It looks so good. I'll be trying it ASAP too. Thank you so much for watching friends. Bye for now.